what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution x ROM based on Android 13 this is the third build based on Android 13 and yes this is the 21st August 2022 build and right now pretty much everything has been fixed and if you're noticing in this change log section this is Android 13 based build and August 2022 security patch and certain stuff it says the ROM changes and stuff you can notice from right here but yes basically here you get the UDFPS or the Figment scanner working perfectly fine and most of the things are fixed like the screenshot and stuff was broken earlier right now you will get all those fixed over here in this ROM. But if you're asking if you can daily drive on this particular ROM right now, yes, you can. But if you are a ANX camera user, you cannot. Because let me tell you, the ANX camera is not working for me at least. I have tried the version 190R as I do. You can check out the flashing guide, which I have followed in the description. The ANX camera is not working for me at least. So I had to use a Google camera. This is the MGC kind of camera. This one is working perfectly fine. Even in the video mode and stuff, it's working fine. Even there is the Bluetooth switching option and stuff appearing. So no issues whatsoever. And it takes the photos really fast. No issues. Even let me actually show you the front camera is working fine. And if you're noticing the front camera is working, but yeah, taking a picture is fast enough. I would say it takes the picture like really fast. No issues with the shutter speed and stuff. But if you don't care about ANX camera and you can daily drive with a Google camera, then I can definitely say you should look for this ROM and Android 13. If you want to taste it desperately, this is the one you should go for. And if you don't know how to actually flash this ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro, you can check out the flashing guide from the description or the cards. And the Android version is of course 13. And if you make this clock to one o'clock, then you will get the Android 13 Easter egg. And if, if you tap and hold over here, you will get to see all of these crazy things. So yeah, all these emojis appear right here. It just appears randomly. You will get a bunch of these right here if you just keep tapping on it. So this doodle kind of thing is really awesome on Android 13, of course. The Evolution X version shows as 7.0 and the code name is Eve and it's for Rafael or Redmi K20 Pro. Official build again and if you keep tapping on it, you will right now get the Evolution X Easter egg tap on it doesn't do anything and we have the august security patch we have the soviet star kernel by default and the build date you can see 21st august the build maintainer is still stalix and we have the slinux status as enforcing in the system settings we have the system updater and you can check for updates from right here but let me tell you i am decrypted so i cannot really update with this updater so if you're a decrypted user like me and if you were on the second build of the android 13 I would just say just dirty flash the latest build with the DFE file that should work perfectly fine. I have done that update worked perfectly fine for me. In the gesture settings, yes, there is the swipe to screenshot right now and you can take the screenshot anywhere. There is the share, edit and delete option. You can delete it from right here or let me tell you there is the capture more feature if you want to like capture more stuff if you are in a lot of scrolling space area and as you can see one handed mode is still working fine there is the press and hold power button and we also get the front camera settings we have the camera led and the power up camera sound effects option all these things are present by default now the overall haptic feedback is really good and whenever i'm going into the recent panel or just going back i am getting the haptic feedback that feels awesome and in terms of the stock launcher of course we are getting the pixel launcher over here i have been using with the themed icons that's like looking great to the left we get the google's discover page swiping up will get you to the app drawer and swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel and yes this is how the quick setting panel looks like it stays dark even in the like light theme that's how it is for the evolution x ROM. even for the a12 well it was like this i have added a couple of toggles we have the reboot toggle the sound toggle heads up and we have the extreme feature and stuff but let me tell you there is no anti-flicker mode as of right now it might be added in the future but as of right now it's not there we have the wi-fi toggle and stuff but in terms of this wi-fi toggle just notice how beautiful it looks if i just turn the wi-fi off and turn it on the animations everywhere is just buttery smooth it looks awesome and we have the screen recorder too and i just clicked on the nearby share let me check out the screen recorder so yeah as you can see these animations are just much more smoother right now and of course you can record the device audio and microphone audio at the same time if you want the brightness slider appears on the top right now i think you cannot really change the position of it let me tell you one thing that i'm really hating that with this battery saver icon if i tap and hold on it i really cannot get into the battery settings just notice if I just go back, it will go back to the home screen. And even with this battery widget, I cannot really sometimes go into the battery settings. So yeah, that is how it is. And yeah, the other widgets are working fine. The animations, I mean, just notice how cool the animation looks. And even while going back and stuff. But yeah, right now, as you can see, the animation is working properly. And everywhere, even if I open a particular app 
and then I go back just notice the animation how smoothly it goes back so all these things are happening fine but yes the battery settings I cannot really go from here to go into the battery settings I really have to go into the settings then click on battery that's how I go into the battery settings by the way we cannot really have the battery charging cycle and stuff as of right now third build basically so those things will be added in the future I think and we get the battery percentage the battery temperature appears on the bottom but in terms of battery life let me show you I have been getting about seven hours of screen on time you can say six hours and 52 minutes here it shows if you consider this is a really early build of Android 13 and in the health section it shows that my battery health is at 96% because of course I have a new battery over here on this particular device and yes fast charging has been working fine and I have seen almost 3800 plus MA of charging so yeah no issues with fast charging on this particular ROM. So I'm playing a music right now and let me actually show you that from right here it appears like this and if I scroll over here just notice there is that kind of looking thing in the seek bar right over here it will actually bring the like volume switching option you can switch the audio from the bluetooth headset to your phone speakers and stuff as you can see and yeah it works flawlessly the animation is really good and seamlessly it's working even from the lock screen this is how it looks like in the lock screen it looks beautiful and from here too you can switch the output device audio from right here so yeah it's, it's working perfectly fine if you're noticing and yeah this actually looks really cool the animations i mean everywhere just looks awesome even in the lock screen now talking about the fumate scanner yes it's working perfectly fine let me show you a couple more times oh there is no double tap to sleep here like there is no double tap to sleep on the status bar even so that's how it is we have to lock the device right now with the power button only i have searched it in the settings i could not find the double tap to sleep anywhere so that's how it is but yes the fumit scanner if you're noticing is working perfectly fine right now so no issues whatsoever with that and even the animation over here let me actually pause the music and let me actually close this music stuff one of my lights battery died guys so really i apologize for that so yeah overall the animation and stuff everywhere is just awesome in android 13 i'm just loving it but yes there are some things still a little weird like there is no always on display toggle over here i cannot really find that even when i go into the edit section if you are noticing there is no always on display toggle or fps info seeing option as of right now but yes there are some like heads up and stuff all these things you can add and here let me actually show you there is a pickup option i have actually found that in the display settings and in the lock screen settings if you enable this always show time and info go into the advanced there is a pickup and the pickup is actually working fine if i keep the device just like this if i pick the device up on my hand as you can see it wakes up in the always on display so this is how it looks like in the always on display and the clock is really thin and if you go into the lock screen the clock really becomes a lot more thicker i would say so yeah this is how the looks are let me go back from right here we have this control from lock device this is for the google home controls this is really great that i don't have to unlock the device right now to actually like access my google home kind of i hope you could see that I don't know but yeah there is a light right in front of me so yeah, it's turning on and off with this I don't have to unlock the device for this so this is a really like amazing change it was in Android 11 but right now in Android 13 it's back it was gone on Android 12 L in the display settings you will get the brightness level the adaptive or auto brightness we have the screen timeout the dark theme and the display size and text this is new that we can actually customize the font size and display size from right here we have the high contrast text and even this bold text is there as you can see it makes this text everywhere bold so you can use these features if you want to and we have the colors you can change it to boosted saturated and adaptive there is the auto rate and the double tap to wake is there and it is working fine let me actually show you right here and as you can see double tap to wake is working properly the prevent accidental wake up or pocket detection is there and it should be working perfectly fine but again no double tap to sleep here and you can go into the settings from right here and here we get the power menu and of course we do have the advanced reboot seal so you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here now also we do get the evolver over here and yes there are customizations but pretty limited we have the dark theme and you can schedule the dark theme from right here and we have the headline and body fonts yes there are the nothing fonts and stuff if you are looking for all those as you can see nothing dot font is there let me just enable it and here okay so the nothing dot font is not right away working i think let me try one more time but yeah we have all this font option it may or may not work 
I haven't really checked those out. But yes, the font option and stuff is there, but it will be optimized in future, I guess. We have the icon packs and yes, the icon packs are working. If you're looking at the status bar, this is how it looks like. We have the Bluetooth battery over there too. And the Wi-Fi icon appears right there. And Vaulty calling and stuff should be working fine again. We have the signal icons. These are the icons we'll get. We have the iOS style icons if you want those. And the Wi-Fi icon styles are also there. You can see the options and the icon shapes. There are again plethora of icon shapes over here. Let me go back in the status bar. We have only the status bar items and there is no battery icon and stuff as of right now. They will be added again in the future. And we have the heads up disabling or enabling option. The app notification, you can do it from right here. Then we have the power menu customization and from here you can get it the uh, hold for assistant. And here, let me actually show you the swipe in assistant is working fine. In the gesture settings, we have the stock gestures and again, let me show you this gesture navigation, which I didn't show you last time, I guess. We have the swipe in book assistant, but there is no pill bar thickness or length customization as of right now. The two button and three button navigation, both are there. In the lock screen, we have the UDFPS, but you cannot really get the fingerprint scanner icon options are simply not present. The ripple effect is there, but in terms of gestures, again, you do not get the double tap to sleep anywhere right now. So that will be added again in the future. As you can see, there is no double tap to sleep in the status bar. So if you are going to daily drive on this particular ROM, you need to keep those things in mind. In the animation, we get the screen of animation, default CRT and scale. And if you go into the MISC settings, we have the unlimited Google photo storage and the unlock higher FPS in games. And the jitter option is there, then we get the USB configuration again. You can set it to file transfer and yes, this option is working flawlessly. There is a show temperature warning option. And of course, we have the team. You can donate to the developers from right here. Now, talking about the sound settings, yes, it still looks similar. We have the screenshot sound, charging sound and vibration and stuff. We also get the Mi Sound Enhancer. All these headset presets are already present. And yes, with the u the sound quality has been great. Even we have these preset options. Then we get the smart scene option and the hi-fi audio option too. And yes, the sound quality with the headphone jack or speakers or even Bluetooth headsets has been really great. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with those. And the haptic feedback level or intensity even customized from right here. And the haptic feedback is working fine here. And we have the clear speaker option too if you want to use that. Always show vibrate icon and stuff is there. Vibration and haptic customization is there. Let me go back from here. We have the wallpapers and styles. Now this is where it gets interesting. By the way, I'm using a wallp wallpaper, but if you want to use the paper app, yes, the paper app is also there. And we have these multiple colors, I would say based on the wallpapers, these are the four, then eight, and I would say 12 and 16 to in total. So yeah, you can actually change the whole UI accent color just by clicking on one. Just notice the color has changed. So this is how you change the accent colors over here. And even the basic colors options are there and there are 16 basic colors that you will get. So plethora of options in terms of colors, I would say. And here we have the dark theme, the themed icons, and the app grid is of course five by five. Let me go back from here. In terms of security, there isn't much because there is no quick unlock as of right now. There is only the fingerprint scanner option. Of course, I have added the two fingerprints. There is no face unlock or there is no app lock as of right now. And yes, safety net passes right out of the box. So you should not worry about banking apps on this ROM. You can use banking apps right out of the box if you want. The DRM info stays as L1, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any issues. Talking about the overall performance, it has been great. And yes, it's running at 60 Hertz, no 72 Hertz as of right now. You can copy some text and it will show you a window like this. This is newer thing of Android 13. And if you just click here, it will show you a clipboard kind of thing. So you can just like copy some text and you can share it out from right here again. So yeah, this is really great that you're getting this kind of clipboard option and it actually shows which app it's from. It shows from Chrome. And here, let me actually show you the scrolling on this ROM and the scrolling I would say is fine once it loads. Let me actually show you right now. Yes, if you're noticing, the scrolling is fine in 60 Hertz, no problems whatsoever that I have seen. As you can see, scrolling is perfectly fine. And here, if you want to go into the recent panel, just notice how smoothly it goes. And if I just scroll and just go into the recent panel and still scrolling, I can go into the split top and this is how the split top is working. And as you can see, even if I go home, just notice how smooth everything is on this particular ROM. I can just scale from right here. If I go here, I can just rescale everything from right here. And yeah, everywhere I just see a lot more smoother experience, I would say. And if you're wondering about the benchmarks, here are the Android and Geekbench score of this particular ROM with CPU stress test. And yes, you can go all the way to the left and clear all the apps from right here.
just notice how slowly it goes to the home screen after that. So should you actually go for this Android 13 Evolution X build already? I would say yes, if you are someone who can live without the ANX camera, if you can live with minor bugs here and there, maybe if it appears, I did not see any bugs, but yes, if it appears with your daily driving and stuff, but yeah, you need to be careful because this is just a third build. There might be some features and stuff missing that you do use in your daily driver ROM already. Those features might not be present over here, like there is no double tap to sleep and stuff. You need to be careful about that. Otherwise, the cameras are working great. The overall stability right now is great, even on Android 13. So you can definitely try it if you're desperate about trying Android 13 on your device. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you feel like this. is Tito from KDNT signing off for today. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.